Can't do that. <laughs> we just did it. We just did it. <laughs> it has to be a whole phrase, right, before we get thrown in prison? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have two of the highly sought-after Jimmy Page mirror telecasters available at moreguitars.com. Yep, here at More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Totally awesome telecaster. Yes. Yes. Feels wonderful. So there's a lot of weird and cool stuff about this thing, you know what? Yeah. And the one thing that I, you know... Case case fuzz. Yes, it's cat hair. (laughs) Some people like to call it cat hair. But you know, whenever they... So so these are... These are... uh, Part of a series of guitars that are coming out, right? This is the American-made version. They're coming out with the Dragon Custom Shop, I yeah. think, in July, and there's going to be a Mexican version of that as mm-hmm. well. So this is the first of the three, I believe, to come out. Am I this correct? I believe so. I believe. And I don't think you're violating any any secrecy, sworn secrecy oaths by revealing that. Oh, I'm not. I don't think so. Good. Good, because I didn't care. <laughs> so. But, um, you know, the, the cool thing about guitars that are made after vintage guitars is the companies have to decide whether they want to make it true vintage, like it, is it exactly like it was, or are we going to add some things to modernize it and make it a little more playable, which they have, in every essence that I've seen, is they've pretty much said, screw you to functionality, we're going back to vintage. And this, because, I mean, the first thing you notice right off the bat is like, okay, there's these holes in the back, but they have it strung through the ashtray, through, yeah. the, through the, the, the bridge. Yeah, it's top-loaded, top-loaded top loaded for the factory. But so. you can do either way. You can go either way, yes. either way. Some people enjoy both ways, Yeah, as they should. <laughs> And, uh, of course, this is Jimmy's guitar, so he signed off on all the specs. This is what he wanted. This is what the, uh, it's got his uh, oval C yeah. neck profile. I like it. I dig it. His 1959 Telecaster pickups yeah. that he had a hand in. He was really involved in this, and it was neat to see some pictures uh, of him at the factory that were not for publication, but because we're on the inside, we got to see, like, oh, there's... Yeah. Jimmy Page, offender, like, you know, geeking out like any one of us would, you know. Yeah, I was there. I mean, I wasn't there. <laughs> but the other thing is, you know, whenever you start talking about using true, like, vintage, like, to make it exact, is I noticed when I was tuning that these things have ultra-low gears in them, you know, and that's one thing that I sometimes like, sometimes I don't like. It just depends on kind of maybe how well my ears work in that day, mm-hmm. I don't know, or how twitchy my fingers are. You know, if I had, I don't drink coffee, but maybe not enough liquor each day. (laughs) But the, uh, it tunes, you know, it tunes up really quickly. And it's, you know, it, for some people it can be a little bit cumbersome to nail the, nail the pitch. Let's try that. Got it. Yeah. So it can be done. It can be done. With the keen ear of Edward Sign. So let's uh so maple neck, rosewood fretboard, alder body, two piece alder body, I believe. It's kind of a white wash, white blonde mm-hmm. is what they call it, yeah. I believe. White blonde. Not your cellulose lacquer finish. You can yes. feel it. You can smell it. Yes. Stainless steel mm-hmm. saddles. And again, you have the top loading option, or which will definitely give you more uh, less string tension. Um, uh, I, I like the um, the knurled knobs. Knurled. The knurled knobs. Oh yeah. And I always like that. That's kind of my favorite of all of all the knobbies. <laughs> so um, also, what comes with the package, which is why they call it the mirror guitar, is it comes with these that you can stick on there. Yeah, stick on mirrors. Larry called it the Ikea guitar. Ah. You have to put it together yourself. <laughs> so it's kind of cool, though. You know, you can see good and bad and everything that, that the manufacturer does. And it's kind of like, okay, you, this is a, a great guitar. It sounds amazing the way it is. It looks beautiful. And then, you know, but if you want to add it and make it official. Put some you know, flair on there. Put some, yeah. <laughs> How many pieces of flair do you have? Too many. <laughs> um, 
but it's cool. You can add that, and uh, I'm assuming it, you know, I'm not going to tell you if it will mar the finish or not, or if, you know, if they use some, you know, special adhesive that's on it that will not mess it up, but I'm not going to be the one to tell you that it won't mess it up, man. So, play, let's play a little something. Why don't okay. you play? So, clean. go to clean, check out this 1959 bridge position. <laughs> And in the middle position. That's kind of special. It is. Larry brought that to our attention, and maybe maybe he's got it in my head. Yeah. But it's it does sound good. And of course the neck. That's for you, bet. Yeah. All I right. always like that lick. Yeah, that's all you can it. do. That's got it. That's got it. It's says do, uh, do a little more with that. Okay. So let me let me say something about that. Like one thing that I you know that that with all this boutique amp building and you know you got the big names and you've got these big these big tones and everything coming out and you you know everybody keeps talking about how like old rock and roll is the best out there you know like a lot of people feel that way and there's a lot of times where i feel like there's a lot of tones left on the, there are a lot of tones left on the table these days like this thing has its tone. It's not going to sound like the guitars that are, you know, some of the guitars that are being built today, but it has a tone and it, it made some of the most iconic songs in the history of rock and roll music. Oh, yeah. So even, you know, just so everybody knows, you know, just because you hear, you know, a, a, an amazing sounding Bogner or Friedman or a car amp or, a, you know, or Mesa or PR, whatever amp you're talking about today, it doesn't mean that that's how everything has to sound. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't right. have to have that full low end and everything about it. You know, that tone you just played, play it again. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have that big meaty fat yeah. bottom. <laughs> And if you have different tones in your in your arsenal, you'll write differently. Sure. You know, I mean, if he didn't have this guitar, would he have written communicate yeah. all those tunes? Yeah. You know. That's true. I mean, That's would it true. have been different if he would have had humbuckers? Yeah. You know, different feel, different vibe. And what did he play "Stairway to Heaven" on in the studio? It was a telly, wasn't it? The solo was played on a telly. Yeah. He used something okay. else for the rhythm. But he yeah, he had the double neck SG, right? Yeah, so. and I think, you know, I think that, like you said, the solo was played on this. It's like people, you know, they just think SG, double neck, or a Les Paul. Yeah, because that's know? how I always associated him from the song remains the same, you know, his, his 59 Les Paul. That's but it. then, you know, they're like, oh, no, all the early stuff, yeah. this is the guitar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So a part of history is being held by us two gentlemen. Yeah. If that's what you... So want to call us? Okay, so let's go through a, a few more tones. Well, I was going to go for the... All right, that's your neck. Let's try... I don't know, it just makes me want to play that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And let's, let's go uh, 21st This is what here. surprised me. The high gain, I think it sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, man. It's high just, gain on that. Sounds good, that man. Has guitar. 
So, the, you know, and, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to kind of throw this out there. You know, to build it just like it was, it had to have the God-forsaken neck that you got to take off. Yeah. It's not that big a deal for a luthier. Ed does it all the time. But if you're doing it at home, it can be really frustrating. But if you're buying a piece like this, you're probably not worried about that. Yeah. You know, you pay, what is this, twenty four ninety nine? Yeah, yeah. And when you get it from, from us, you get us with the guitar. So. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we, it's going to be set up before it even leaves the building here for you. Um, but it, just making people aware of what it has, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, it ain't every, every guitar has its pros. And cons, you know, and I want, we want to be make sure we want to make sure we're being honest. Oh yeah, lots of pros with this one, and the 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 it had to satisfy the man whose name is on this guitar in two places. Yeah, Jimmy Page, the mage. Say those words. Yeah, Jimmy Page. That's right. All right, well, let's take it out, man. Yeah. You want me to? Take, I'll try to try to come up with something. like we practiced it yeah it took 12 takes <laughs> just kidding anyway that was uh these are the jimmy page telecasters from fender the uh we have i think three of them in stock as of now i think one's about to go away really quickly mm -hmm. so get them while they're hot at moreguitars.com and please remember we're the good guys we're here to help this is ed i'm brett a lot of you know rob you can call in talk to any of us we're here to help we don't uh you know, we'd love to help you grab one of these, but if you just want to talk guitars and you need some questions answered, we are here. We call ourselves the good guys. Good old-fashioned, old-school service. Uh, moreguitars.com. You can chat, email, or phone call if you want to do it the old-school way. And uh, leave a comment, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are here with Ed and Brett at the moreguitars.com video room. Goodbye.